Hi friends, this Vogue magazine just came in the mail today. I literally just got it from DHL. It's still cold to the touch. This is very exciting. This is the January 2024 edition of Vogue Japan and this features Naoko Takeuchi as well as new art of Sailor Moon. So let's go take a look. I will go ahead and skip directly to the Sailor Moon information and article in here. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so beautiful. Okay, so here we have a two-page spread about Naoko Takeuchi as well as this beautiful new art of Sailor Moon. I wonder if this is going to be featured at the 2024 Sailor Moon Museum that will be traveling around Japan. So let's take a close look at this. We have this beautiful, gorgeous galaxy background. I love her staff. I love that it looks glass or crystal, so you can kind of see her arm through it. That's so pretty. This is a really stunning piece of art. I'm kind of loving that recent publications in art of Sailor Moon features her wearing a cape. Her reflection is down at the bottom. Super pretty. And here we have the interview with Naoko Takeuchi. Even though I'm studying Japanese, I don't know it well enough to read this. There's a lot of kanji. So let's uh, Google translate this. Prayer erases evil. I think this is the ideal. So up here at the top, it talks about how Nakayoshi debuted in 1986. Sailor Moon was serialized in 1991 and the book was published in dozens of places around the world. The anime was also aired around the world as well and it was the winner of the 17th Kodansha Manga Award in the girls category. Next year in 2024, starting on Friday, February 2nd, the Sailor Moon Museum is scheduled to be held, tracing the history of the series since its inception. Sailor Moon transcends the boundaries of manga and anime, influencing the world's cultural scenes such as music, fashion, and art, and becoming a presence that empowers many people. In 2023, Naoko's collaboration with Jimmy Choo and the Cover art of Black Pink member Jenny's special solo, You and Me, became a hot topic. So in this picture, she is wearing whew, some very expensive stuff, <laughs> including a $900,000 yen shirt, a pair of pants that cost 242000 yen, a 34,000 or yen ear cuff, $53,000 left ear cuff, and $68,000 all Valentino? Oh, ring. She's also wearing a 68,000 yen Valentino ring, looks like. Personal item. Oh, that's hers. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay, girl. Also, can we just take a moment and appreciate how gorgeous Naoko Takeuchi is? Like, look at this beautiful photo of her. She's so pretty. She's so elusive which I don't blame her given how famous she is at this point, but oh my gosh, she's just gorgeous. I don't know what moisturizer you're using, girl, but I want some of that. So according to this publication, Sailor Moon is currently in its 30th anniversary project. It was serialized in 1991. It was a big hit, global culture, strong support from icons, including 2023 fashion brands. It continues to empower people, transcend countries and generations. I love that. Oh, this is interesting. So in this article, it says, author Naoko Takeuchi says, my mother recommended illustrated books, literary works, movies, and Disney to me. My older cousins recommended tons of girls manga in 1970s. She was transfixed by the real life female characters and she spent her childhood there. She also talked about things that had intentionally changed and things that she had cherished as she continued to draw Sailor Moon. I think it's ideal for a character to think and move for Freely and boldly, but there are differences in age and ideas. Costumes and spells change little by little. Small changes and newness are more appealing to fans. I feel like I'm shaking with joy. I decided not to change. That is so interesting. So she says the things that she decided not to change were the long hair, the identity of the sailor uniform, and the friendships she had with friends from long ago. The things she cherished were the things that she liked at the time. Favorite facial expressions, favorite lines, fashion, places, music, favorite art supplies, and favorite colors. And she also says here, one of her favorite things is to draw and drawing freely as you like. Thank you for letting me do it. Aw, that's really sweet. There's also a question in here that says, what is the strength of women? And Takeuchi has said, there are individual differences. There's no answer for each person. And then she talks about her thoughts on Yukichi Fukuzawa's Women University Hyoruran, which she recently read 
for her daughter's report assignment. In Japan, just like the rest of the world, women have the same low status and lack of freedom that they have for 200 years. When I watch the news every day, I think that life on this planet is too hard for women. Wow. Yeah, girl, I agree. I think the society of this planet is so strict that women are forced to become stronger. Takeuchi also suggests that someday if we rationalize our society, which is complicated and has too many unnecessary things, then we will be able to find a simple answer using a simple formula. Strength equals motherhood equals kindness. Oh, wow. The sailor warriors unite in solidarity and demonstrate their strength. Women have equal physical standing with men and aliens. That's probably translated wrong. And of course, I don't want them to fight. I believe that women have some kind of magical power inside of them. Spells and items are also needed to manifest power. I pray strongly. I believe that the ideal is that prayer erases evil. I want to continue to pray strongly. I have been thinking about this especially recently. So even though this is just a two page spread in this Vogue magazine, I'm really, really happy that I was able to get my hands on this and read this article from Naoko. She doesn't do a lot of interviews these days, so it's really rare that we get a chance to kind of get some insight into why she created Sailor Moon and how she feels about the culture and being a woman in today's day and age. Nowadays, given that usually we just see her art, we don't really get that insight behind the art. So this is really interesting to me. So that is the Vogue magazine January 2024 edition from Japan. Let me know what you think about Naoko's interview. I thought it was really interesting and I would love to know if you think the same.